Hi, my name's Freddie Wilkins. I'm a Basie Level 4 instructor based in the Three Valleys and on Maison Sport. Today we're going to be looking at how to ski to your full potential using the three axes of awesome. We have fore and aft, lateral, left and right, and we have vertical, up and down. First, we're going to look at the fore and aft. The vast majority of skiers you'll see skiing on the mountain are way too far back. You'll see the center of mass is at the back and they're using the back of their boots. Cameraman, what's your favorite fruit? Strawberry. strawberry. So get an imaginary strawberry. Let's put it in between our shin and our boot and let's lean forward and squish that strawberry. Okay, now let's get that same imaginary strawberry, put it between our calves and the back of our boot. Let's squish that strawberry. Never! Squish the strawberry at the back of the boots, always at the front. So we're looking for this forward movement, always pressure at the front of the boots, never at the back. Okay, most people are kind of skiing around like this. Get your hands, yeah, put them on your quads when you're sitting back. They'll be solid, they'll be rock hard. You're engaging those muscles all the time, okay? Now stand up, relax into the front of your boots, center of mass forwards, hips forwards, bend down, relax into the front of your boots, feel your quadriceps, they're soft like jelly. If you ski around all day in the back seat, you're gonna to get to the end of the day and you're gonna be absolutely knackered. So as I'm coming around the turn now, I'm gonna always make sure I'm forward. So I'm standing up and forward, squishing this strawberry. Now I'm on my new outside ski, you wanna get there as early as you can. Forwards, up, squishing the strawberry at the front all the time. Left foot turn, up, stay on that ski. Stay in the front of the boot. Getting our center of mass forwards and engaging the front of the ski is gonna help us initiate the turn much more effectively. We've looked at fore and aft movement. Now we're gonna get look at our lateral movement, left and right. We wanna keep our weight on the outside ski. The outside ski is the ski on the outside of the turn. I want my weight to be here all the way around the turn. Here is the transition. Now I'm gonna be getting on my new outside ski as early as possible and coming all the way around the turn, right on the outside. So you'll see a lot of people doing this exercise. It's called aeroplanes. We want to get our centre of mass over the outside ski. Come up in the middle and then put your arm down. So when I'm doing my left foot turn, this is the new ski. Left foot turn, left arm down. Okay, as early as you can, get on that new outside ski. Right foot turn, right arm down. A really good progression to help develop our left and right axis is to start lifting up our inside ski. Now with the aeroplanes, we have our center of mass in the right place. Start by putting your feet together, squish that strawberry at the front and lift up that inside ski. So as I come down here, I'm doing my aeroplanes. I'm just gonna do a few little taps. As I come round, tappy tap, tap, tap. Up in the middle, forwards, always squishing that strawberry. Tappy tap, tap, tap. Up in the middle, squish that strawberry. Tap, tap, tap. If you're, if you're making a really big movement to have to get on that outside ski, you're standing on the inside ski too much. It should be effortless. At any point during any turn, I should just be able to lift up my inside ski. We can develop this progression by trying to stay on one ski around the whole turn. So set yourself up nicely. Get on there early, all the way around. Okay, early pressure, up, squish the strawberry. Use that as your support, all the way around the turn. So over the years of ski racing and training to be an instructor, I had many different coaches. I had French coaches, Italian coaches. I even had an Argentinian coach. But the coach that made it the most simple for me was a Scottish uh, race coach. And he said to me, get on it. On it, on it, on it, on it, on it, on it, on it. Get off it. Get on the other one. On it, on it, on it, on it, on it, on it, on it. Get off it. 
get on the other one. On it, on it, on it, on it, on it. What he means by that is, get on your new outside ski, stay on it all the way around the turn. Then get off it, get on the other one, all the way around the turn. One consistent pressure. Get on it! So for the final axis of awesome, I'm gonna think about the vertical up and down movement. Whenever I'm skiing, I'm thinking about this pedaling motion, building early pressure. As early as I can in the turn, I wanna be standing on this new outside ski and getting that vertical movement upwards. Whenever I go, whenever I go up, I also wanna go forwards, squishing the strawberry. Okay, so now left foot up, up in the middle, stay on that ski all the way through the turn. So now, for example, I've just done my left foot turn. I've come all the way around. So this foot, in terms of weight distribution, is at 10. And at this foot, in terms of weight distribution, is at zero. And all I want to think about is smoothly, as smooth as I can, getting this foot from 10 to zero, and this foot from zero to 10. And a smooth transition of power, this pedaling motion, thinking about it, I go up, I go forwards, and I stay on that outside ski. I'm coming through. I'm going to get my new outside ski, which is going to be my right foot. It's at zero at the moment, and I'm going to try and gradually build. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, whenever I go up, don't forget to go forwards, and don't forget also to keep your weight on that downhill ski. I'm using all three axes, okay? Up, forwards, outside ski, up, forwards, building early, building. So now you've nailed those three axes of awesome. Hopefully that will help you ski to your full potential. I've been Freddie Wilkins. You can book a lesson with me on Maison Sport. I'll see you on the slopes.